Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today I'm going to be answering a question, one that I get fairly often, and so I wanted to go into it in a bit more detail. That way I can answer this for I know probably the hundreds, uh, if not thousands of men that are out there contemplating this question. And it goes something like this. I'll, this is actually the question I received just the other day. Hello, Antonio. My name is, and I am 38 years old. I am in the market for starting a new wardrobe. I do have the fairly frequent occasion to wear suits at formal events, and I am wondering whether or not I should pursue a custom-made suit as my initial new foundation suit, either in charcoal or navy, or whether I should opt for a ready-to-wear suit with tailoring as needed. I would think this first option would afford me the ability to learn those features in a suit which would be most beneficial or appealing to me before purchasing a custom suit. If the ready-to-wear option would be a good one, I would consider suits in the range of approximately $1,200. Do you have any recommendations for me? And he gives a little bit of information about his height and weight, and he's around uh, 5 foot 11, he's slender, and he wears a 38 regular jacket, and he's got a 31 inch waist. He lives in Florida, where it's hot and humid, and uh, that's the information that I need. So. Custom is not for everyone, and that may sound funny come from a custom clother. Ideally, what? I, I want to clothe everybody and make as much money as possible. But really, guys, custom, I, I find it's really either a man wants something very specific or he's hard to fit. Usually, you fall in one of those two categories. Um, and, and so let me talk, you know, but besides that, you also need to think about, he needs to think about what are his needs, about the fit, as I mentioned, also talk about what are his wants. So this does play in, we, we do get clients who simply want custom, they want the prestige that, that goes with that without having a, a label in there. It, basically it's their label. And there's also the cost benefit analysis and something I think is important. Are you getting a good value? Is this something that's going to be worth it for you? So uh, let me start off with the need. So with this gentleman, he says he wears it frequently. But you know that's a pretty relative term and one that I would probably ask him to clarify because if you're only wearing this, I don't know, maybe three to four times a year, I don't really see that as very frequent. And custom, if you base it off that, may not be the best option. Uh, although every time you wear a suit, you want to look great. You know, it's one of those things that if you're not going to be wearing it very often, you know, you're probably not in the spheres in which a suit is. I just like people to put their money where it's going to be best used. And if you're only going to wear that suit, you know, for a wedding once a year, I oftentimes think you can, it's probably worth your time to spend, you know, a lot of time going out there and trying to find something that will work for you off the rack. Now, if you're going to wear a suit 50 times a year, let's say you're an attorney or, or 20 times a year, then all of a sudden we're talking about something different because I, you know, we try to make our suits at, at a quality level that you're going to get at least a decade of wear. And I, oh, I don't recommend you take them to the cleaner. I mean, basically, I, I try to set up the stage so that you take care of your, shoot, of, of your suit, that you brush it regularly, that you clean it when it needs to be cleaned. And let, let's guess, you know, 20 wears over 10 years, you're talking 200 wears, which if you spend, you know, I don't know, $1,000 on a suit, we're all of a sudden talking five dollars a wear, and you look great in it every time. So in that case, the need to me is a little bit more towards custom. But that's only part of the equation. Let's talk about fit. This is a huge one. And uh, if you're hard to fit, like this gentleman, he's he's a 38 uh, wears a 38 jacket, which is harder to find. It's not impossible. I mean, you can pretty much, add, but it, it is the lower end. Once you start getting into 36s and 34s, good luck. You, I, I've written entire articles about how to find you know these type of jackets, but basically you're going to have to uh, <laughs> either shop abroad or you're going to have to have something custom made or you're going to have to be in a larger city where they've actually got stores which are dedicated to men with chest sizes, you know, at that size. It, it's just not normal in the United States. It's on the I'm not saying it's not normal. It's basically on the far end of the bell curve. And anytime you're on the end of those bell curves when it comes to fit, whether you're really big or you're really thin or really small, really short, that's when you have trouble with fit. And all of a sudden, that's when custom really starts to make sense. Because it goes down to, and I'll jump down to uh, you know the cost-benefit analysis, it comes down to time and money for a lot of guys. 
they don't have the time and they need the suit now and they need to look good and they're going to go try to land let's say a five hundred thousand dollar or multi-million dollar deal in business or they're going to be up in front of their congregation and they really want to make a strong presence in that case you have to have you know a great fitting suit and, and if you're hard to fit you don't want to be up there and look like a clown I, I, if you're giving a presentation in front of a group you want them to focus on you your eyes your face it's about communication and you can't let your clothing your clothing should just enhance and then people should forget about it and if it's if it's there as a distraction then you know it's it's pretty much failed in its purpose so getting back to the cost benefit analysis this is where he has to say okay time and money do i have the money for this and is it worth my time because pretty much any man unless you're the tallest man in the world or one of the smallest you can find a suit out there somewhere in the world that will fit you properly it's just a matter of time and, and of searching I mean I hear of guys looking for years you know going through thrift shops but since they don't have any resources this works for them again cost benefit analysis time money is it worth it to you last part wants do you what what do you want and this kind of goes into need as well I mean he's down in Florida so he wants a fabric which is a really a lightweight tropical wool it's going to be much harder for him to find that if he walks into Jose Banks or uh, Men's Warehouse actually they make their stuff pretty thin but they use a lot of polyester fabrics you don't want a polyester fabric if you're in a hot weather situation in that case you want to start looking towards something that at least has 70 percent wool six yeah 65 to 70 percent wool once you start going below that all of a sudden you start running into issues with the blends that that aren't great ideally though you want a 100 percent tropical weight wool in hot weather so this is both a want and a need because you can get away with it you know having a polyester suit in florida but you're gonna sweat and you're not gonna look great but you know if you're gonna spend most of your time indoors again you may be able to get away with that um, so what else you know he may want little details so you'll notice on uh, you know this jacket right here I've got this little detail I've got this unique fabric which is pretty much uh, one I mean I'm not gonna run into anyone else in the United States that's gonna have a fabric like this it's very li it's from a limited uh, role um, little things like that were my wants and I'm a custom clothier so I can make this stuff happen but I mean patch pockets these little types of details are wants but they're really cool if you wear your clothing if this is something that you use a lot and represents you for a lot of guys it brings a, a bit of confidence you know it's like it's it's like a carpenter having a great set of tools what you know what whatever he you know whether it be dewalt or you know what what else uh, you know okay I'm, I don't know my uh, my carpentry tools super well but it, it is something that you see these guys go out and they spend a lot of money on good equipment you know why because good equipment does a great job it's dependable and you feel good about it and you don't you know have to worry about it breaking on you in the middle of the job the same thing with clothing for a lot of professions so if you're a doctor and you've got to go meet with with the board there at the hospital you don't want to just walk in under your scrubs and for them to talk to you as you know one of the doctors or one of the you know the the staff there you want to go in on the same level as these guys and they're going to be wearing suits you want to look good great in a suit and you want to know and in that case it's worth spending money especially if you're hard to fit or if you want a particular detail which just goes to show you you pay attention to the details um, if you're a lawyer again th this is where presentation is very important uh, if you're a businessman if you're in sales perhaps you want a particular color which you know you're gonna get the fit right on your suit which is gonna say a lot and people like dealing with healthy people that's what you know a great fit that's what a great looking suit really does for a man it makes him look healthy so getting to you know the, the gentleman's question is a custom suit is this what you want to build your foundation on I think the, it comes down to does it fit your need are you hard to fit and uh, do a cost-benefit analysis and do you really want it to me it sounds like this gentleman's on the fence he's a bit hard to fit but it the price range he's looking at he could go I at this point I think he could go either way um, I need to learn a bit more about him and I think a lot is gonna play into his wants 
in addition to I'd like to learn more about his needs and how often he's going to be wearing this, in addition to how, what his luck has been going out there and looking and trying jackets on. Uh, he may have a bit of a, uh, he may stoop over a bit, he may have a very erect stance. Little things like this all of a sudden make you harder to fit and that's where a custom clothier like me specializes in. All right, so hope I didn't confuse you, hope I clarified the situation, but you know, the big thing I wanna get across is it's not a black and white answer. Every man is unique and every man has to make the decision for himself. And that's why it's very important that you take the time to educate yourself in the foundations of men's style. This is Antonio with Real Men Real Style. Take care.